Welcome back to the channel, another outfits of the week. I absolutely love doing these, especially at the moment. And I feel so inspired with my wardrobe right now. I honestly have such amazing new pieces. There is a big haul coming soon, which I'm really excited about. And this week I really wanna experiment with my outfits, push the boat out, wear new combinations. And I feel like I'm really doing that today. Firstly, I just wanna say a big thank you to the sponsors of today's videos, which is Styles, a Scandinavian based fashion app that have become one of my go-to apps. And I'm so excited that they reached out to do this video because I've already been using the app for a few months. And I just know that so many of you that don't already know about the app are going to find it so useful and I'm sure you're going to want to download it. You may have already heard me talk about stars because I've been speaking about them a little bit on my Instagram story and it's something that I actively use all the time so I'm always trying to say to people like come on to stars. Stars is kind of like an outfit diary that's how I sort of view it and it's a really unique platform that allows you to upload pictures from your camera roll of your outfits. They can be super old photos from your archives like me personally I've just done a big dump of all my old pictures from the last few years so it's nice to have all of my outfits now in one place on one app that I can go to to remind myself and give myself all the inspiration and of course you can go and take inspiration from other people on styles you can follow different accounts like other people's pictures which keeps it in like a bank so you can always go back to all of the other outfits that you've saved which I personally love I use it all the time for outfit inspiration and for like research for my trend videos styles are so good at doing things in categories and you have like different sections at the top and they're all done through trendy things right now so it's really good if you want to start to get into a new trend and start to wear new pieces in your wardrobe you don't really know how to do it in like a natural wearable way you can go onto those sections and look at what other people are wearing and of course it's just ordinary people like you and me it's so personal it doesn't feel manufactured or fake like it's generally just such a nice platform to see what other people are like actually wearing and you don't have to post really polished perfect pictures i often do mine in the mornings in the mirror here or i've even started to get my pictures at work in the work mirror and the thing is that a lot of these pictures in my opinion are not something i would post on instagram Instagram, but I don't want them to go unnoticed because I want to like remember these outfits and it's just so good to be able to upload them to styles. It's so chilled and relaxed you can upload like whatever picture you're comfortable with. I also love how when you upload you have the option to upload more than one picture at a time like within that post. So for me when I'm getting my outfit pictures a lot of the time I'll take it like this without the jacket and then I also want to get a picture with the jacket to remember like what worked with what especially as the seasons change it's just good to remember like what jacket it's work with what pieces for me and I've been using this feature to make sure that I can remember like both parts of the outfit if that makes sense because sometimes it's hard to like show your outfit and show what's under the jacket but you want to have the jacket on do you know what I mean it's just a good feature and I also follow styles on Instagram and they do like weekly trends and like what's hot and all of that and they'll post on their stories their favorite outfits of the week and they'll have like a new trend that you can go and tag and finally I'm not gonna lie one of my favorite things about the app is the fact that it doesn't freak me out it caused me anxiety like other social medias it doesn't follow traditional social app structures of having like counts and follow counts it's not about that only you can see your follow count and your like counts you don't see it on anyone else's profile which is amazing it just takes the stress that comes with every single other platform out the window and it's just purely about like you having fun on the app sharing your outfits seeing other people's outfits so i just love it I think it's such a smart app. Of course, I have the link to download stars in the description of this video. And if you wanna go and follow me on there, you can find me at Susie Lola. I wanna give a massive thank you to them again. I cannot wait to be speaking about styles again a few times on the channel. Honestly, love what they do. And I really do see it as such an outfits diary, especially as I don't show every single outfit I wear on YouTube in these outfits of the weeks on my Instagram like it doesn't really scratch the surface but I'm using styles as such like a natural like everyday kind of like outfit diary for myself pretty much so yeah a massive thank you to styles let's get on with the rest of the video it is a Wednesday and I'm gonna go and record a podcast episode 
can you believe it? With Nippy Studios. Nippy Studios are one of my favourite small brands. They're sustainable, based in London. I feel like you've probably heard of them. I speak about them enough on the channel. And Emily and Daisy, the girls that run Nippy, have just started a podcast and they invited me on to speak to them, which is pretty exciting. I think we're just going to chat about how I got into the industry, what I did at uni, life. I'm not really too sure. I think it's going to be a lot of fun though. And I'm sure on my Instagram stories, I will definitely promote the sh out of it when it goes live um which is kind of scary because i kind of hate the sound of my own voice but oh well of course because i'm going for a nippy studios podcast i have to wear a nippy studios piece this is their new martini top i bought it a few months ago and i'm just literally obsessed with it i don't really have any elevated basics in this category and then it's got these ribbons on the side that you can tie in like a million different ways i'm just obsessed with it and I thought I would push the boat out and do a skirt over trousers look I feel so inspired to do that this week and I really want to do another skirt over trousers look later today because I'm going to go out for dinner um this evening with friends so I really just want to like push the boat out with a skirt over trousers thing added my new lagoon diesel vintage belt I feel like it helps break up all the black in the outfit I feel like it kind of looks like a dress all together which is kind of nice and then my little knee high mesh skirt and i think these trousers are probably the best for me to do skirts over trousers they're these little pinstripe ones they're old river island that i found off of depot and then of course to match like the red pinstripe i had to do these little ferraris i found these they're like a puma ferrari collab i found them at a charity shop i'm just obsessed with them i think they're great also clearly trying to push the boat out with my hairstyles and I've gone for these little buns and I've added my earrings from en route. These are the spike earrings. You can shop these in the description of this video. I link my jewelry collection like in every video. So if you ever want to go and look, it will be there. And I want to kind of like calm it down a little bit. I feel like this is very fancy for a podcast episode. So I'm going to do, where is it? My new Adidas denim jacket. I got this in my European thrift haul. I'll link the video um, on the screen. And I feel like it just helps make it look a little bit more casual. And I'm going to bring this big bag because I need to go pick up some parcels on the way. And I think there's quite a lot. So they need to go in here. There's just some old bag that was my grandma's that my mum got her from Beijing, I think. And I feel like the cream just matches the gold. Yeah. I take a photo. Let me try and rip this. Oh, I ripped it a bit hard. This is where you know summer's coming and it's like nearly half six and it's still the spray outside. It's insane. Okay, I'm getting ready. I stuck to my guns with my whole wearing things I'd never worn before and I'm just really in a layering skirts over trousers moment. So I've gone for that. I've gone just comfy up top. I've gotten this little vest top with my Paul Frank um, top. I think I got this off Vinted. And I've gone for these like double big hoops they're both from pilgrim and i just thought it was kind of nice this is the look i've worn this mini skirt over these jeans this is from my european thrift haul i think they do work together i think i would prefer if the jeans were a little bit lighter they're vintage g and g from shop yachts yachts shop yachts i think i want to do my fur coat because it's actually deceiving me cold outside and obviously i'm going to be out for the evening so i'm just like let's just wear her it's from Jackie. She's she's big. She's big and sassy. Dinner with the girls outfit. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. I'm wearing new things this week. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good for me. I realise that I'm somehow running like 15 minutes early, which is unheard of for me. So I'm gonna use this time to get a good alpha picture. So I've never worn this outfit before, so I may as well document it. And I want to do it for my styles because this is the type of outfit that if I don't happen to wear something similar soon, I'm going to forget about the combination. So I want to record it and I want to put it on my styles. So I'm just going to take some pics, like not really face in it, just more outfit. Hi. In the moment of like... I don't know, I can't. Good morning, it's Thursday, it's a shoot day. I actually need to rush off, I'm going to be late. After work, I'm going to a finds event. So I've packed in here this bag, um, this Paul Frank bag, how funny. It's from Don't Shop Swap. And I've packed a new outfit with boots and stuff. But for today, it's a shoot day. We're having Tia back in the studio, my friend Tia. She's modeling for the brand that I work for. I work for a vintage brand, Vendimia, um, if you didn't know. And we're having her in to shoot a bunch of stock for new collections, which is so exciting. 
and it means I can finally take you along in a shoot. If you watched my last albums of the week, you would have remembered the dramas of models cancelling literally every single day in that video. And I had to be the model for one of them, whilst also being the photographer, it was a whole moment, it was not the vibe. And today is not gonna be one of those days, so I'm very, very excited. I've gone for comfy. I'm wearing my Nippy Studios baby tee. I think it's like the 365 tee or something, and it's just so good, it has the Logan embroidery. So soft, it's a sustainable small brand, literally one of the best baby tees out there. And I love this little juice couture track jacket I have and I just wanna be comfy for a shoot day. So I'm gonna chuck this on top. I'm wearing these low-waisted trousers, they are low-waisted. And I'm my other lights low-waisted, but these are like, they're gonna stay low-waisted. All my other low-waisted are like baggy, these are like skin tight. Uh, these are from Brown Bear Clothing and I'm wearing my superstars because I'm going to leave them at the studio so I thought they were just easy. And I am mixing brown and black but I don't give a fuck. Then I had to decide my jacket for the event. I was designing the outfit piece as well so the outfit wasn't even on me so I was just trying to like, I haven't even tried the outfit on so I was just praying everything worked out. But I've gone for this. This is a little zip up, I think it's from, yeah, Miss Selfridge. I found it off of Depop. I'll put the seller's name on the screen. I feel like she's very 2000s. Look who's here. Love this outfit. Like the pink is so nice. How cute is this? I wasn't gonna wear this top, but it's like, it's my backup, so we'll see that. I'm sorry, how cute is this? peachy den skirt and my boots are from outsource clothing and guys today was just like a long day and i just finished and i stayed later than i thought i would and i was like oh i'll oh my god what is this hair i thought to myself i'll get to the event at six so i like rush from work i'm not doing that i'm taking my sweet time i feel like i this, oh, <laughs> this is like prairie dreams Guys, this is like so cute. I, I'm gonna have to wear this. I'm sorry, I'm not wearing the nippy top. I wanted to go crazy with the necklaces, so I've gotten a lot already. My mellow necklace, and then this one from a car boot. I'm gonna add my lucky necklace with this crystal rocks cross. I'm just so obsessed. I think this is great. I love this skirt as well. It's just the perfect basic, but like elevated basic. I got chicken gyros. I didn't get the. <laughs> I don't get the halloumi. I don't get the halloumi. Hey YouTube. <laughs> hey, it's now Friday. So I went out last night and I'm not hungover but I'm tired and I just feel a bit frazzled. It's 20 past 10, I'm gonna run to the shop and get some breakfast. I wanna go to Starbucks and I know like I shouldn't support the capitalist pigs. But guys, my coffee order is too annoying. It's a decaf caramel latte with oat milk and like iced and I just feel like it's easier sometimes just to run into Starbucks and grab it so I'm gonna do that and I thought I would honestly show you what I'm wearing and then I'll show you my outfits later because I'm gonna spend the day working I need to film a video I need to film and edit in one day it's my Coachella video I've done enough prep for it that it should be really easy for me to edit I say that editing I feel like I'd take a million years to edit because I want to just really get in there and I'm just praying I get it done. I've somehow managed to get myself a date, bit of a last minute date tonight. Somebody I already know but like it's cool. Yeah I'm gonna go for a date tonight which will be nice. For the day I'll show you this. But I've gone with my Adidas thingy. I was wearing my kind of matching grey trackies with this to the jumper and I was like it's too casual like I look a little like the hair's not done I haven't done my skincare I've literally put in contacts and I'm good to go. I'm literally running out for some breakfast I'm like it's too much like I look a bit too disheveled. And I got for my open product hoodie. It's like my comfort hoodie. And then I put on my Peachy Den cargos because I was like, it just helps like bring up the vibe a little bit more. So simple. 
Why am I showing this outfit? And then my gazelles. Okay, I'm gonna wear this. My pool front bag. Last night I was wearing, you know, I had this. And there were so many people I was talking to about Paul Frank with. It was great. It opens up conversations. Okay, I'm getting ready for my date. This is what I've gone for. I find date outfits hard, you know, to get the right balance of everything. So I've gone for this little intimissimi dress. This is from Nude Lagoon, it's vintage. And it's got like the lace back, which is really lovely. And it's like a really short dress, sort of long top situation. I've gone for my pinstripe trousers because I don't think cargos would be a vibe with this. And then I've gone for my gazelles. So simple, you can't even really see it. And I've done a little necklaces from Pilgrim. My earrings are all pretty much from Pilgrim, like the main ones. This denim jacket might be the vibe. The last day I went on it, I actually wore this jacket. Uh, hopefully tonight can change the energy that's within this jacket. I'm thinking, is it a bit too much to wear this? But I feel like the guy I'm seeing, he's gonna look good and be dressed good. So I'm like, he won't think this is too much. Whoa, no, this is too much. This is like, guys, I think I got one size too big. My trusty Clint's jacket, always good. I'm getting the buzz down and the buzz down. <laughs> like literally, like you said, she gets the bus down yeah. and then gets the bus down. Right, right, Shut right, I mean. right, yeah. I'm obviously not gonna film anything, so I will just see you um in the morning. It's Saturday afternoon, I'm gonna go home. I need to do some stuff at my mum's house, like some organization stuff. And then I'm gonna go have dinner with Ruby and we're gonna spend the day tomorrow. We're gonna have a sleepover tonight and spend the day going charity shopping. And I'm gonna do a whole video on its own about that. So I won't really show much of tomorrow, but I'll just show what I'm wearing. I've gone for a really comfy outfit for most of today because I'm just gonna be chilling at home. And then I'm gonna change to a nice outfit when we go out for dinner. So I've gone for my Drouse baby tee, the black one. I love this. And my Enrage trackies are my comfiest trackies. And I really wanna wear new trainers. So I've gone for my Lonsdale boxing boots. They're kind of like short boxing boots. I'm gonna give this a go, the zip up. This is from Seeky Clothing. I'm fed up with being cold. So I'm like, I'm just gonna wear her like, vibe change i'm going for this it's like 14 degrees so i'm like i'm just gonna go for this i've kept on the baby tee and i'm just wearing this vintage levi's jacket that i got my european thrift haul kept on the trackies got same shoes everything's the same and i'm wearing this golf beanie and then for a coat for dinner i have coats at my mum's so i'll just chuck on a random one do you know what i mean and same with tomorrow i'm just gonna deal with it i'm just gonna wear this and deal with it does these sunglasses look Weird with this beanie. I'm back, baby. She's back. Influences in the wild. This lighting is terrible. I forgot. Ah, to... ah. is it there? Ah. Guys, we're post dinner. I forgot to film my outfit, so I'm filming now. Then get an ice cream. And um... oh, you have to buy it. We're about to watch Magic Mike. Anyway, I'm wearing my suit and Musa dress. And I wore it with this belt and because I'm eating my ice cream I can't put it back on but just imagine it. And um, my pinstripes that I wore last night. Yeah, I feel bad that I didn't do this album justice but oh well. It's Sunday. Sunday bloody Sunday. Charity shop day. I actually got some fines credit. So this is fines. It's actually new look. Is it? Yeah. Skirt is jingle really nice. Mm -hmm. And then I've got these Onitsuka Tigers. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's, oh! <laughs> Britney Spears. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I was gonna do this, and then Ruby was like, it's really boring. So <laughs> then it's true. Those was worst came right out. I didn't say it was really boring. I just said she needs to match my energy. I didn't have options. Okay, you have options. So maybe I'll wear this because my hair's greasy. And then this top is from, I think it is from Brown Bread. These are from Menace Vintage and the Belts Charity Shop. And I'm wearing my boxing boots again. And I'm gonna wear the same jacket. And then um, my Peach and N Billy bag. Where is it? Oh my, uh, I packed it already. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. And we're gonna film the Come Charity Shopping with Me video now. But brunch first. I'm hungry. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
it's Wednesday, the sun is shining. I'm gonna go meet my friend Patrick for some dinner and then we're going to this little free late exhibition at Somerset House. And I really wanna wear something fun, exciting because that was my project myself this week. I'm loving all of my little jackets like this that are kind of the perfect spring in between with like another little jacket over it. This one's from London Lookbook. It's like this little vintage, I don't even know, I was gonna say moto style velvety moment. It's really, really cute. And I I have this little skirt from Fine's World and I layered it over this little slip underneath and then my black Carvella boots. The trouble is with wearing this is I really want to wear this new coat that I picked up today. This was about to be sent back to the seller because I kept forgetting it was here and it was the last day and I actually ran out to get it. It's this kids Miss 60 and refrigerable wear jacket. I got a refrigerable wear jacket in my European thrift haul, you know, the bright green one. And when I was talking about all the references that this was giving me for the video, when I was like on Google looking for them, this jacket came up. It's definitely from the kids section, I think. The only thing is I don't think it goes with the brown at all. I was wearing this skirt before, which I'm gonna wear tomorrow, I think which I think goes really, really nice with this red. So I'm gonna try on some options. I love this skirt so much. I think it's so cool. It's got all these little subtle details. Moment of truth. I've had this combination in in the past couple of days and I'm just loving it. And I feel a bit like a donut going out. Technically we're in spring in a puffer coat, but it's gonna be like, 10 degrees. Do I look a bit like a weirdo? Like, I don't know. I'm wearing an outfit I've never worn before. This is kind of outside my comfort zone. Actually, I know the denims don't match like perfectly. I think my other denim jacket is a better mix, but I'm just in love with this jacket. Right. Oh, Christ almighty. Happy Friday. I thought I would do a little extra day um, to throw it in there. I feel like this, honestly, this outfit week has been so fun and I really, really love all the outfits I'm doing and the fact that I'm pushing the boat out. And I think today will be a really fun outfit. Um, I'm going to work today. We've got a shoot day at work with Mimi and yeah, I'll try and take you along as much as I can. I'm wearing my little Burberry, I think it's fake. I think it's fake. All in one top. I got this in the European thrift haul. I've got on my little Paul Frank pants because he's right down and he's cute. And my favorite Menace um, vintage camo jeans and my red Pumas. I'm gonna go even more red. Sorry about the sun blinding. Like she's really doing the most today. My little Puma zip up. I also got this on the European thrift haul trip video thing. You know, we've got a whole red moment going on. Then I'm gonna wear my new beloved coat. You know what I realized last night? is that the pocket's absolutely teeny tiny. I can't fit my phone in it. But anyway, this is the look. Oh, I need to take pictures for stars actually to remember this. And you know, because of the, you know, because of the feature with the multiple pictures, this is the perfect time to be able to do that um, with this outfit. Cause it's like three layers that I want to remember. So this is all I can annoyingly show you cause I have to actually rush to work. But um, I think the colors go. I'm loving this outfit. I almost forgot my Billy bag from Gucci Day. 